Hello and welcome to this new series for beginners making a Forex bot and backtesting system using Python. So this is just an introduction video. If you're not interested, skip on to the next one where we get started. But I want to explain a little bit about why I'm doing this course. In my private life, I run an industrial based business and I also like to trade on the Forex markets and have done for quite a few years. I was quite struck when I first got started that first of all, I saw numbers like this saying always warnings on broker sites that over 70% of people lose. And then when I got started, like everybody else, I ran into sites like Baby Pips with their huge education programs and their large forums full of indicators and systems. And then I went on YouTube and typed in Forex, scalping strategies and all that kind of stuff and found all these videos with millions of views uh, from thousands of thousands of content creators showing you how to be, you know, have your 100% win strategy at Forex, just use this. Oh, what a load of rubbish. And when I thought of the amount of material available and the fact that 71% of people lose, it didn't take me very long to arrive at the conclusion that most of this is a scam. It must be, otherwise we'd all be winning because we're all looking at and using that information. And in fact, if you look at Baby Pips or any Forex video on YouTube, they're either selling a course or they're affiliated with a broker, which means the information they're putting up is just designed to get you to trade as much as possible, which earns the brokers money or to buy their courses because you love their videos and their no nonsense secret mindset approach to everything. Unfortunately, the reality in Forex is it's not easy. You need to either be extremely strong in economics so you can understand how currencies are going to move between countries. That means maybe the raw materials they produce and things like this, or the last year, the responses to the COVID crisis and Brexit and things like that. Or you need to be able to build yourself a very good system to test out the ideas that you've got to make money from the market. To build a good strategy in Forex, there are four fundamental points. One is you have to have your own ideas. I've said it already, there is no easy ticket to winning. You need to have your own ideas and then you need to be able to backtest these ideas properly. And backtesting does not mean scrolling through a chart and pretending to have made trades. This is not backtesting. Backtesting means testing strategies over a period of five, eight, 12 years, over 30, 40, 50 pairs, and seeing the results and how the trades develop according to what the market are doing. And in this process, you'll fail a lot. And in this process, you'll learn a lot. And eventually you'll start to understand how you can build yourself some kind of strategy that's profitable. So to put a positive slant on it, that means if the majority of people are not doing this properly, you have a tremendous opportunity to be successful because you can go into the 30% of the people that are successful and have the correct approach. And this is what I'm going to try to help you do in this series. We're going to build up a backtesting system and a Forex trading bot using Python and have really aimed it for complete beginners. However, I am going to make a couple of assumptions. You're going to need Python installed and working on your system. And I'm not going to make a video on this because there really are thousands of videos already. To write our code, we're going to use something called Visual Studio Code. You can find that at code.visualstudio.com. Now, if you go to code.visualstudio.com forward slash docs forward slash languages forward slash Python, You'll find an excellent guide on there for getting Python installed on your machine, getting Visual Studio up and running, and then there's a little Hello World tutorial as well, which you can go through. Please, before you start this series, go through that, get Python up and running on your computer. What you do need to make sure is that you install Python version three. So if I type Python dash dash version, I'm using a Windows computer here, I get Python 3.8. It doesn't matter if you're using 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, I think is available now, but you should be using Python 3. 3 point something. If you've installed Python 3 on your Mac, then you might need to type Python and then a 3 afterwards before using dash dash version because I think Python 2 is pre-installed and it might also be the same if you're using Linux or Ubuntu or something like that. But you should be at the stage where you type Python or Python 3 dash dash version, hit enter in your terminal or console and you see the version of Python is 3 point something. If you're not at this stage or you're struggling with this, please leave a comment below this video and I'll try and help you with it. But there are literally thousands of tutorials online that show you how to install Python on your computer and get it up and running. The next thing is we're going to use OANDA as our broker for this. In the next video, we'll set up a demo account with Oanda. I don't use in real life Oanda as my trading platform, but Oanda do come with one of the easiest to use APIs that I've come across. So that's it then for this introduction. Please make sure that you've got Visio Studio code up and running. You've been through the tutorial that they provide in the documentation. You've got Python installed. Any problems, I'll say again, put a comment underneath this video. I'll try and help you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video where we'll get cracking with uh, making our trading bot.